Chat, I'm going to be honest with you guys. You are looking at a project that is potentially going to 15x. You're looking at a pro minimum, you know, you're looking at a project that is going to 7x. Minimum, guys. Uh, going from today's price. If you ever you know, if you are ever interested in Jasmine, uh, if you have heard about the project, if you you know like the project and you are you know thinking about grabbing a position, this is the time. Right? These are the time. Get into a position right now. Uh, you are going to have to play safe. And what I mean by that is that you are going to have to play defense if Jasmine was to lose 17. Uh, but I do believe that if you are accumulating right now, you are looking at, you know, minimum a 7x, you know, once Jasmine really starts to get going. Uh, this is, look, I'm not going to say that this is a lifetime opportunity. You know, I think a lifetime was... You know, all the way down here, guys, you know, life, you know, basically like these are like a once in a lifetime. You know, if you get in right here and we go, you know, to 15 cents, 20 and 30 cents, I think this is a once in a lifetime. So you're still looking at a great opportunity, right? It's not a once in a lifetime, but you're still looking at a great opportunity. Uh, the reason is, you know, simply because. It is only a matter of time, you know, before we get above this box right here. You know, and I've talked about this for, you know, the longest time right now. You know, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to get tired of my updates. But this is exactly the same, you know, conversation I was having with many of my subscribers in late October of 2023, guys. Or, or at least late 2023. You know, when Jasmine was in the, you know, 003 range, 004 range. Like, I remember, all right, this is a year ago. You know, I remember screaming, like, literally, when Jasmine was right here. You know, I remember just talking about, you know, what an opportunity this was. So, look, you're not looking at the same opportunity. You know, I got to be honest with you guys. But, you know, if if we think about you know, the rest of the bull market. Like what projects can you add, you know, can you honestly look and, you know, see a clear 7x minimum? Uh, I don't think there's many of them. Uh, but Jasmine, you know, looks really good uh, in terms of, you know, accumulation. Uh, in terms of technical analysis, you just, you know, you, you just won't see anything, you know, very similar to, like, you won't see anything like this, you know, until we break above this box. Uh, so this is going to be, you know, slow and steady. Uh, we are going to grind ourselves out. But that's exactly what you want if, you know, you are still in that accumulation. Like if you're still building a position, this is exactly what you want. You don't want the price to get away from you. So, you know, once again, you know, I absolutely love where Jasmine is right now. Uh, it looks like we are forming a bottom. Uh, if this is indeed the bottom, guys. Like this is going to be, you know, very strong because we have what is a potential double bottom, right? We we had a bottom right here, had a nice rally, came back to retest. You know, instead of losing these lows, you know, we are having a bounce. And this is the reason, you know, I, I, I continue to say that 17 is where, you know, you want to put your stop loss right here. So, you know, we're not just thinking about, you know, how much money can we make from this project? We are also thinking about, you know, risk management, all right? Proper risk management, guys. You have to be, look, you just have to be extremely careful and you have to be very smart when it comes to these things, all right? This is not a free lunch. This is not, you know, you just throw a couple of dollars at a random project and, you know, a couple of weeks later, you're looking at a 10x. You have to be very strategic. You have to know exactly what you're doing. And you have to be, look, you have to be willing to say that I could, you know, I could probably be wrong because this is a probability game. All right. You can probably be wrong. So when you are wrong, you know, you want to make sure that your loss is not, 
is not more than you are actually willing to lose. So this is where you know risk management becomes extremely important. This is where you know getting in at the right you know the uh, the right time becomes extremely important because look if your average price is right here guys it's no way you you know you have a stop loss right here because the stop loss right there with your average price up here like you're looking to lose about 40 percent of your capital this is not this is not investing right here if your average price is somewhere around here all right and your stop loss is right here you know you're only looking to lose about 10 percent of your capital so you put a thousand dollars you lose a hundred dollars perfectly fine guys you know you don't want to put a thousand dollars and lose four hundred dollars that is not the math that that we want to do uh but jasmine looks you know very good i mean i i absolutely love you know where the project is right now uh but again you know in terms of you know purely price action in terms of you know price moving up more rapidly it's just not going to happen right now you know we got to break above you know this box right here guys and you can see you know how clear this is once we get above this box you know you're looking at a project that look whatever target are you that you can come up with all right uh it's not just jasmine there's a bunch of other projects out there that looks extremely bullish looks really good in terms of you know accumulation uh, i've talked about ftm you know ftm looks fantastic every single pullback i think you want to be a buyer all right personally uh, as long as the price of ftm is above you know the lows of september so i'm basically looking at 35 cents like i'm very comfortable buying the dip you know i'm very comfortable speculating on the price continuing to go up all right it is not guaranteed but you know, I think the probabilities are in my favor. You know, in our favor right now. Uh, if you look at the performance of FTM, you know, every time we get a pullback, we have a lot of buyers. All right, buyers are willing to step in, and the price is pushed back up. The FTM, you know, in the seventy cents right now, this is a great opportunity. Of course, guys, greater if you would have accumulated right here. You know, right in the middle of this breakout uh, if you are in my private discord you know i gave the buy confirmation right here guys around 56 cents and the reason was because you know we had just broke above these weekly lows so to me you know this is a project that is in the process of you know continuing to go up you know short-term pullbacks like i i really don't care about that all right every pullback represents a fantastic opportunity it's not just jasmine it's not just ftm there's a bunch of other projects out here that looks extremely bullish you know i talked about solana now with solana you are going to have to be patient like if you are looking forward to you know a more you know volatile solana you know a more bigger move to the upside you are going to have to be bullish you know to be patient excuse me you know, I've talked about the need to break above this yellow line right here. All right, with Solana, you gotta we gotta break above at least 185, guys. Uh, but these are the you know these are the places where you want to be building a position. We are very close to the 200 moving average. All right, like look, if you you're not bullish at a 200 moving average, like I, I really don't know what else to tell you. Uh, if you go all the way back, the best time to buy Solana, all right, in this bull market, guys, was right here. And I'm looking at this box right here between, you know, 25 and like $20 right here, guys. This was the best time, you know, to buy Solana. Uh, the second time, you know, to buy is right here. Uh, can this be a fake out? Of course, right? There's always a possibility you get a fake out. But in terms of, you know, purely technical analysis, like you can get in right here at $146 and you can simply put your stop loss just right below $132, all right? This is the type of trade that I want to take, all right? I'm willing to lose about 8 to 10% of my of my capital and cap by capture, all right? If I am right, I want to capture you know these type of you know these type of upside guys. You know, if Solana is going to $400, you 
I'm basically looking at a 2x, you know, 200% move. You know, Solana goes to $500. I'm basically looking at, you know, whatever the percentage are. And you're only risking, you know, 10% of your capital. But right? imagine, you know, you have $1,000, you like Solana, right? It's perfectly fine. You know, if you can risk $100, but your profits is $2,000, all right? Those are the type of trades that you want to take every single day, right? Every single day, you want to take trades like that. 